was a blood cancer patient also, my number one question is, what stage do I have and what is my prognosis? So can you explain the staging system a little bit? I think it's called the Ann Arbor staging system for DLBCL and then maybe prognoses that you may or may not yeah. feel comfortable giving to each patient. Yeah, so lymphoma is a little bit different because it's a blood cancer that involves lymph nodes. And so how we stage it is based on the location and the number of lymph nodes involved. If, for example, you had one lymph node in your neck and that's all you had, we would consider you to have stage one diffuse large B-cell lymphoma. If you had more than one lymph node, but on the same half of the body, thinking of your diaphragm as sort of a midpoint, we would then consider you to have stage two disease. If you have lymph nodes on both halves of the body, um, we would then consider you to have stage three disease. And if you have organ involvement, so bone marrow involvement, liver involvement, kidney involvement, or lung involvement, uh, we considered those patients to be stage four. Now, to a certain degree, the higher the stage, the worse the prognosis. But as I stated earlier, even patients with stage four lymphoma can be cured. And that's different than other cancers, right? When we think about stage four colon or stage four breast, uh, many of those patients, we actually tell them that they're in a non-curative setting. And so while the prognosis for stage three and four is a little bit worse uh, than those patients who have stage one to do disease, I do try to focus on that we do treat with curative intent and, and we do alter our treatment regimens according to the stage of disease uh, that they present with. And so um, my activation tip for patients in this setting is to, you know, make sure they really understand uh, their scan and what stage they are and how that impacts the treatment that the doctor is offering. 